Hello, my name is Purity Njuguna and I'm a nutritionist. Today we've partnered with Ponea Health to talk about nutrition and health. And one of the topics we are going to cover today is BMI and how we use it to categorize whether you're healthy or unhealthy. So let's get into it. What is BMI? BMI refers to body mass index and it um, is your weight divided by your height in meters squared. So once you have your BMI, it places you in various categories and it will be able to tell you whether you're underweight uh, from moderate, moderately <laughs> underweight to extremely underweight. And also when you're on the other side, it's also able to tell you whether you're moderately overweight or morbidly obese. And that's the extreme end. So the healthiest uh, range is between 18.5 kilograms per meter squared to 24.9 kilograms per meter squared. It's best to complement the BMI with other measurements, for example, body composition. So when you have uh, body composition measurements, we're able to tell you what's happening inside your body. So we've seen that you're outside, the physical arrangements are a little bit off. Maybe you're underweight or you're overweight. So when we have your body composition, we're able to say, well, your fat percentage is very low or very high. Your water percentage is very low or very high. Your muscle mass is very low or very high. And this way, your nutritionist is able to guide you better on how to understand your own body and how to become healthier, how to correct what's go what might be wrong and how to maintain what is right. So that's uh, about BMI. So also you'll find that some groups, some categories of people will not be able to use the BMI. One of those, uh, one of the groups is uh, the pregnant women are uh, actually required to gain weight during pregnancy. So you'll find that they are, when you get their BMI, it's on the higher side. It does not mean that they are unhealthy. They're actually doing well if they are gaining weight. So another group is athletes. So you'll find that some athletes will be on the lower end. That means when you measure your, their weight and height, they are underweight. But that does not really mean that they are underweight. It's just because of the physical, the extent of physical activity that they do. Another group is the athletes who lift weights, the bodybuilders. So you'll find that they are on the extreme end. So when you measure their BMI, you'll find that they are on the extreme end of overweight. But really, they're not overweight in terms of unhealthy. They have built up their muscle mass to the extent that they now seem uh, overweight. Yeah, so that's it about BMI. Thank you for joining us in this discussion. Uh, you can book my services on ponea.com and I look forward to engaging with you more on our next episodes.